Guys, as you might know already, I was not a Datsun Go fan. In fact, I refused to have it on my website or do any features on it. The reason being that I just actually was so disappointed in Nissan, Datsun and Renault as well for the cars that are being sold to the public with no safety rating, no ABS, no airbags, nothing. It's sort of a thing to say to people who can't afford a car like well you know here's a cheap car you don't deserve to be safe in it because well you can't afford it so sorry for you good luck though but I am so thrilled now because the new Datsun Go which I am currently driving has got ABS and a driver and passenger airbag now I'm still waiting on that safety rating but do you know what uh, listen, listen, and they've gone, okay, let's not be complete about this. So for an entry level car, so you're looking at 144,500 Rand um, for the entry deaths and go, you can get the 165,500 Rand one, which is the Lux, but you don't even really need to go up to that because there is nothing entry level or budget about the spec in this car. You're looking at all round electric windows, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You've got air conditioning, rear park sensors, all of that, guys, all of that for 145,500 Rand. That's a flippin' bargain if you ask me. Okay, I do wish that it didn't have these only buttons for volume up here, but you know, let's see, play. What's happening? Fall in love, I would already have you up under my arm. This is the loudest it goes. That sucks. You probably won't. You won't be cooler than me. You'll notice on this car, this test unit, it has like the little sort of decals on it I guess you call it like <laughs> but don't do it it looks weird and it's, it's like aftermarket it just does I don't think it does anything for it to be honest but also this car has got 4,081 K's on it okay so it's it's new um, and already the, the decals are so they are scratched beyond especially on the back there where you're using your key because like you have to use your key to open the boot what a pain there's no button, um, but so you can see, see, I don't know, it's been scratched. So I don't think it's worth it. I think this car plain would be better. The, the top of the spec one that I was talking about just now, that gives you things like same color mirrors as the body of the car and just daytime running lights and everything like that. So there is extra spec, obviously, but I don't think it's 100% necessary. I think you'd be more than happy with this. I have one, okay, look, it's a budget car, so there are a couple of issues. Um, First of all, one, which is just like a positioning thing, the USB is under the gearbox here. So now I must li like lie down, ass over <laughs> kettle, trying to stick that in. <laughs> that sounded <laughs> <It's> so bad. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was a lovely sentence. Sitting behind myself. Oh, okay, can't really do the leg shake, but it's not too bad. The other thing is the review mirror. Well, I think it's prescription glass. So it's kind of fuzzy. It makes you want to hurl a little bit. Um, but you'll get used to that, I guess. The other issue that I have, not, not a biggie, but um, there's no cover on the boot. So you'd have to get that extra. Um, and from when I was on the launch, every time you open the boot and close it, that thing stays up. So you have to like remember to push it down so it sticks. Drive you back crazy. Believe me. I got you. I'll figure it out. Probably won't. You think you're cooler than me. You got your heart in shape just to hide your face. And you wear them around like you're cooler than me. So it's got a 1.2 liter naturally aspirated engine under here. You've got a five speed manual transmission. I love the position of the gearbox. I think it's awesome. You got 50 kilowatts of power and 104 newton meters of torque, which means that it's not exactly the most riveting of engines. You have to work really hard to make the engine work. You have to work this gearbox to make it work, which 
Oh yeah, it just, it lacks a, quite a bit of oomph. Funny enough though, once you get it up to like cruising speed, like once you're on the highway and you get to about 4,000 RPM, it's like the Datsun Go just wants to go. <laughs> um, so, which is cool. I just, it's fascinating. But yeah, so then you're sort of fine. But around town and everything, it's not great. Especially if you put the air conditioning on. You know, it sort of does that click. And you just know. More power, please. Look, other than the couple of issues that I mentioned and everything, um, Datsun is offering, I think, an excellent product at a, a really sort of value for money price. And I think if you are in the market for a brand new car and you don't want um, second hand and etc., it's it's really one to consider. Well, you think you're cooler than me. You got design a shades just to hide your face and you put ah! You're cooler than me. Hey, oh, remember my name, and you're probably good. You think you're cooler than me. Oh.